In the last couple of years, we've shown you various robotics programs and summer camps at SMSD. Well, this year, we found out just how widespread these robotics programs have become. Oh, it's, it's a program we started at the beginning of the year with kids uh, for fifth and sixth grade, and we bring them all together, just serve several teams to teach them how to do robotics, set it up, build it, and then after they build it, do the programming. The programming that they have to do certain things in certain ways, stuff like that, to, to maneuver the robot. It doesn't just start at the fifth and sixth grade level either. The team that you're watching, that you'll be viewing today, their name is SpartBots. It's a name that they chose themselves. I'm their coach. I have to take my teacher hat off, put a coach hat on, and um, just let go of the way of showing them how to do it. Um, I give them the tools to do it, the way to think things out, um, to develop solutions for problems they come across. I want to talk about core values. Um, it's based on robotics and how we treat the others. Um, it's teamwork, basically, cooperation, cooperating. It's um, working together and having fun at the same time. And a few ways that are based on um, core values are gracious professionalism, which means we have to respect others. We have to respect other teams, other team members, other people, basically. At the high school level, the robotics club starts getting into the literal nuts and bolts of robotics with an eye toward competition. We have to build a robot uh, with all the strategy in order to cross all the obstacles. There are six different obstacles that we have to go through. And then we also have to be able to build an arm to grab the ball and feed into the shooter and then shoot the other castle so that we can the castle and then the last stage is we have to build an elevator in order to climb up six, six feet uh, into their castle in order to conquer the whole castle and that's how the games end and how we win the match. So I was with the team um, about three years ago. Uh, now I'm coming back because this is such a really cool and fun thing to do. You, you, you kind of have to take into consideration all the fields in it so say if you want to design a robot you have to know how to program it because you cannot come up with some crazy design and you cannot you know even program that at all or you have to think about okay so say we, we can think of that do we have the material the, the, the components to build that what's come with the FRC kits right? can we use bigger wheels we can climb all that obstacle with like giant wheels but we don't have those so so those are all the things we take into consideration to design the robots I guess it was the idea of working with machinery and actually being able to design our own robot. It was also the idea that we could work with other people who also wanted to do the same thing, who didn't just want to go to just some random club or something like that. So, some club that can actually do something that's very technical and very hands-on. Definitely it's a great learning experience, you know. Next year, I, um, most of all, I just hope to learn, really. Now you may say to yourself, this is all very cool, but why are we concentrating on this instead of books and tests? Oh, it helps a lot of things with them. Mathematics, because they had to do mathematical equations, science, dealing with the environment, uh, a lot of the social skills, because they have to work together. It's on, it's on, there's not one, just one leader, it's a group, all those kinds of things. Robotics really helps children develop a computational way of thinking. That sounds like a lot like math, but actually it's so much more. And they're so enthused and excited about the work that they do that as you saw earlier, some of my students actually go out and buy their own robots. I just like the challenge and being able to work with what I love to do, which is build and program because I would like to be an engineer with robotics when I grow up, so. I think the biggest thing is how to work together for a certain goal. For example, this robot, I don't think one person can just make it on their own and just like accomplish this, like you need a team. I feel like the fact that some of my other team members have also done the same thing just to build the base shows that we have a lot of dedication and that we're able to accomplish this by the time the competition comes up. 
Stafford is on the rise. We're all learning and we're ready to make a big impact this year. For Spartan Spotlight. How many robots does it take to replace the light bulb? Job for humans. Uh, this is Randall Williams. 